sorting of objects part 1 hello children i am the parrot welcome to this video in this video we will learn sorting objects by identifying them by their colors today chotu and aarti thought of bringing their toys to play together chotu and aarti started playing with their toys aarti see my toys wow chotu even i have similar kind of toys Chotu and Aarti played for a long time with all their toys. Aarti, today we played a lot and enjoyed it. Come on, let's now separate our toys. But Chotu, how will we identify our toys? They both call Aarti's mother for help. Mummy, we do not understand which of these toys belong to Chotu and which ones are mine. Please help us, Mummy. Aarti, it is very easy. You like blue color a lot, and you take all your toys in blue color. So all the blue toys that are kept here belong to you, and all the yellow colored toys are yours, Chotu. Looks like yellow is your favorite color. Yes, Auntie, I like yellow color a lot. Seeing the color, it is very easy to sort our toys. Now we will separate all our toys. So, children, can you tell us which of these toys are Chotu's? You are right, children. All the yellow colored toys belong to Chotu. And all the blue colored toys belong to Aarti. Chotu and Aarti sorted their toys, and after sorting their toys, Chotu said, "Aarti, it was so quick. We could identify the colors of our toys and could easily separate them." So, children, did you see how to identify the colors of objects and sort them accordingly? Children, that was all for today. In this video we learn how to sort objects by identifying their colors. In the next video we will learn sorting objects on the basis of their shape. Till then bye children. sorting of objects part 2 hello children in the previous video we sorted objects by identifying their colors come see what we will learn in this video sorting objects by identifying their shapes yesterday chotu learned to sort things according to the colors Today he remembered that his snake and ladder pieces and his marbles are kept together. So he thought of separating them. I will sort all these pieces and marbles. Oh, these are all of different colors. What do I do now? Chotu goes to his mother. Mummy, I do not understand how i can separate them because they are all of different colors chew to see this all these marbles have the shape of a round ball and these snake and ladder pieces are like a cone of an ice cream but are they not in different colors chew to to separate pieces and marbles you do not have to check the colors as you can easily separate them by looking at their shape Okay mummy I will separate them now These snake and ladder pieces are like cones So put them in this box And all these marbles are like the shape of a round ball So put them in this box Mummy 
pieces with the shape of a cone will go in this box, right? Children, can you tell me whether this piece which is like the shape of a cone is to be kept in this box or not? Yes, it is like the shape of a cone. So we will keep it in this box. So children, did you give the same answer? After that, Chotu picked up the marbles resembling the shape of a round ball. Children, can you tell me into which box they should be dropped? Yes, it will go into this box. After this, Chotu took this piece. Children, do you know into which box it will be dropped? You thought right. Children, if it is like the shape of a cone, then it will be placed in this box. And by identifying the shape, Chotu separated the pieces resembling cone-shaped ones from that of round ball like marbles. Children, that was all for today. In this video, we learned sorting objects by identifying the shape. In the next video, we will learn identifying different shapes and sorting them. Till then, bye children. Of objects part 3 Hello children I am the parrot and I welcome you to this video In the previous video we learned sorting objects by identifying their shapes Come on let us see what we will learn in this lesson sorting different objects on the basis of their shape Chotu and Neha have gone to the fair today he liked the game there. Come on, Chotu, let's play. This game looks very interesting. All right, Neha. Auntie, how to play this game? Children, this is a special game. In this game, you have to sort all the items placed on the table one by one by identifying their shape and should place them in four different boxes placed there. In the first box, round, ball-like objects. In the second box, box-like objects. In the third box, cylinder-like objects. And in the fourth box, ice cream cone-like objects. Chotu and Neha started playing. Chotu, first of all, let's find objects that look like the shape of a round ball. Yes, Neha. I found an object which looks like a round ball. I will put it in this box. Here is another round ball like thing. Yes, Neha, put it in this box too. Neha puts a round ball like object in the box. Now they have to identify objects of other shapes. Come on, Chotu. Now let's look for items that has box like shape. Children, can you identify a box-shaped object from all these items? Right, children. Here is an object which looks like a box. Got it. Here it is. Now let's put it in this box. And now we have to find something that looks like a cylinder. And I will find this item, Neha. Children, can you help Chotu find something similar to the shape of a cylinder? You thought right, children. This object looks like a cylinder. Chotu put the cylinder-like object in this box. Wow, Chotu. Now I will put the last item. This shape is like an ice cream cone. Children, can you identify an object which has the shape of a cone of an ice cream? You identified it correctly. This is a cone-like object. Chotu and Neha identified the shapes of all the objects 
and place them in different boxes. So children, did you see how Chotu and Neha identified four different shapes and kept them in different boxes like a round ball shape, ice cream cone like shape, box like shape and cylinder shape. That was all for today. In this video, we learned sorting different objects on the basis of their shapes. In the next video, we will see some common mistakes in sorting objects. Till then, bye children. Common mistakes in sorting objects. So children, in the previous video, we learned sorting different objects on the basis of their shape. In this video, we will see some common mistakes in sorting objects. Today, Choto's teacher has brought some objects to the class. Children, look, I have brought some objects with me. Can you identify them? The teacher shows an object and asks, Children, can you identify that which shape this object resembles? Teacher, this is a round ball-like shape. Well done, Aarti. You are right. This has a round ball-like shape. The teacher now showed another item and asked, Children, what does this object looks like? Teacher, this has a box-like shape. Well done, Chotu. Well said. This has a box-like shape. Children, now can you recognize the shape of this object? Teacher, it looks like a cylinder. Very good, Aarti. Well said. This has a cylinder-like shape. Teacher, this has ice cream cone-like shape. Very well, Chotu. Well said. This has a cone-like shape. And children, here we have a shape that looks like a cylinder. But Choto did not understand the difference between these two figures. Teacher, but both these shapes look alike. Choto, why do you think these two shapes are the same? Teacher, see this. This shape's base is round and other shape also has a round base. Chotu, you are right. Both of these shapes are round at the bottom. But if we look at both these figures from above, the cylinder-like shape is round from the top and the cone-like shape is pointed from the top. Oh, is it so? Come on. Let us identify the cylinder-like shape and the cone-like shape out of these two objects. Children, can you identify the shape of these objects? Teacher, its shape is like that of a cylinder. Well done, Pinky. It is like a cylinder. Teacher, its shape is like a cone. Well done, Chotu. It has a cone-like shape. Children, was your answer the same? So, as you have seen, the cylinder-like shape is round on both sides, but the cone-like shape is round on one side and pointed on the other side. So, that was all for today. In this video, we all saw the common mistakes in sorting objects. I hope you have understood this topic properly. Bye children!